Assalamu alaikum, welcome or welcome back to WizWorks. So today we are going to talk about even and odd um, numbers that have to do with arithmetic operations from the GAT or Qudarat exam. Um, this is a lesson followed by practice problems, so stay tuned. First of all, uh, let's look at the multiplication. So these are very basic things that you should already know, or if you don't, please have this memorized. This is going to be very helpful in the exam. So we first take a look that even times even is equivalent to an even, and I color-coded it. So um, if you look into the addition box, even plus even is also equivalent to an even. So if you think of the multiplication, you can also think that it relates to the addition, um, so you can memorize less and start to connect the dots more. Next point is that even multiplied by an odd is equivalent to an even. When you think of the addition part of it, even plus an odd is equal to an odd, you can think of it as opposite things. So you can think of it, oh, okay, so even times odd is equivalent to even. That means uh, in the addition set, even plus odd is equivalent to an odd, and you can think of it in a uh, opposite uh, direction instead of memorizing it. So you can also remember that odd multiplied by an odd is equivalent to an odd. Pretty simple. And then you can think of the addition, odd plus the odd equals even. You can kind of flip them out and memorize them into opposite positions, which is going to help rather than memorize for you to connect the dots. Let's look into another mini concept. So positives and negatives. Um, so first and foremost, we can see that um, a positive number multiplied by a positive number is equivalent to another positive number. And a negative number multiplied by a negative number is equivalent to a positive number. And a negative multiplied by a positive equals a negative. So let me just give you a quick problem for reference. So let's just say, I don't know, 9 times 9. They're all positives, right? You don't really put positive signs in front, but just for reference, positive 9 times positive 9 equals positive 81. So this goes along with this rule. Now let's look at the negatives. So we can say negative 3 times negative 2. First think, what is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6, and negative times the negative cancels each other out, which is a positive. So, plus 6. It's a positive number, which goes hand in hand with this rule. Let's look at our, uh, our last rule. So, negative 2 multiplied by positive, or in this case, you don't really put the sign. Positive, I don't know, 4 is equivalent to what? First, don't overcomplicate it. Look, 2 times 4. 2 times 4 we know is 8, and we see there's a negative. Negative, so negative 8, and this goes hand in hand with this rule. Now, let's go down to the practice problems. Um, I first want you to read this problem, pause the video, read this problem, and try to solve it by yourself. And then we can solve it together. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, so the question says, if x is a positive positive, even number. And we know even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and etc, etc. Okay? So it's a positive x is equivalent to a positive even number. And y is a positive odd number. And we know that odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc, etc. We know that y is equivalent to a positive odd number. Then which of the following numbers is an even number? Which of the following numbers is an even number? Okay, take a moment. Did you take a guess? Okay, let's solve this together. We have to recall the rules first of all. Recall these rules. Memorize them, think of them any way you can, and then go back to re reiterate this problem. Let's look at A. 
first, first of all. So we have to multiply, basically since they're both positive, multiply a even number times an odd number, which is equivalent to 6. 2 times 3 is equivalent to 6. And what is 6? Six? 6 is a even number. And it's asking which of the following is an even number. So we automatically know that it's going to be A. But for reference, let's um, continue and try the rest. Um, since we already chose 2 and 3, we're going to continue. So 2 minus 3 is equivalent. It's going to be a negative. It's going to be negative 1. And 1 is an odd number. So B cannot be the answer. Let's try C. Okay, we have to erase for some space, so if you don't have this down, you can write this down, whatever. Okay, so let's look at C, it's saying basically, since we already chose 2 and 3, so 2 squared plus 3 squared is equivalent to what? So we know that 2 squared is 4 plus 3 squared is 9, and I very highly recommend you to memorize your... Uh, square roots and whatnot because it will be very helpful and it will save you so much time in the test so 9 plus 4 is 13 and when we look back to our chart 3 3 13 is an odd number which means C cannot be the answer and then let's try out 4 our final answer uh, I apologize D there is a typo it's supposed to be x plus y and now let's try it out so 2 plus 3 is equivalent to 5 simple but what is 5 5 is also an odd number it means d cannot be the answer so even if you didn't know that um a is the answer you can you can um, know that a is the answer by the process of elimination you can uh, go through the steps but it's very time consuming if you automatically know this it'll be very um you can save so much time and you can get the right answer right away let's move on to practice problem number two okay so it's saying before i jump right into the problem i want to give you a minute to solve it so take a minute pause the video so it's saying that if n is less than zero which of the following numbers is the greatest? So let's solve it step by step. A, it's saying n is less than 0. It's less than 0. What does that mean? It means that less than 0 is negative. There's nothing positive before 0. So on a number line, let's draw a number line here really quick. We have 0 in the middle. Everything to the right, I guess, this is the right, my right, is positive. Everything to the left or my left is a negative. So anything less than, we're going less than, so everything to the left is negative. So n is going to be a negative number, which means this is going to be a negative number. A is going to be negative. Let's move on to b. Um, n cubed. What n cubed is, uh, basically is, is negative times negative times negative. And what does that equal? What do all these negatives equal? Negative times negative, we know, equals to a positive. But then we have a positive times a negative, which goes back and equals a negative number. So b is a negative number. Let's go and try to solve C. C is saying n squared. n squared is negative times negative. Negative times negative, we know that it's positive. And we automatically know that C is the answer, but for explanation's sake, we're going to continue. D. Let's try to solve D. 2n. So what is 2n uh, basically saying? It's basically saying that... 2 times, um, if you haven't already figured out, the dot is a multiplication sign. 
um, two times negative is going to equal what is what is two times a negative going to equal? It's still going to equal a negative because let's let's do an example. What's two times negative three? It's going to equal negative six, so it's still a negative. So now we can find that the answer is C. Let's move on to our final problem. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, so congratulate yourself, but wait till we finish this problem. So I'm going to give you a minute to try to solve this problem, read it, try your best, and then we'll solve it together. The question is asking if x is an odd number, so if x is equivalent to an odd number, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and etc, etc. If x is equivalent to an odd number, then which of the following can be an odd number? Okay, so it's a matter of just plugging things in algebraically. We can just solve this, okay? So let's start with A. A is saying, let's try to plug this in, 3, and then we can put, um, we can put, I don't know, let's put 1, because it seems to be the easiest. 3 times um, 1 is 3, plus 1 is equivalent to 4. So A is 4, and it's asking which of the following is going to be an odd number. So we automatically know that A is not the answer, because 4 is an even number. Now let's try B. B is saying 4 um, plus 5. Um, 4 times 1 is 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. And we know that 9 is an odd number. So we automatically know that B is going to be the answer. But we're going to solve the rest so, you can, so we can prove that the rest are not um, odd numbers. So you can plug in 4, 1, plus 6 is equal to 4 plus 6 is 10, and 10 is an even number, so we know that C cannot be the answer. Let's plug in our last one, D. So, 7 times 1 is equivalent to 7. 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 is an even number, so D cannot be the answer, and we can infer with the process of elimination, or if you just got there, V is the answer. I hope you learned something from this video and please, please, please do not hesitate to comment down below if something in this video was unclear, if you still have a question, if you need um, help with a certain question, just comment down the question and I am happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. This is WizWorks. See you in the next video.